The World Health Organization said Friday it hopes the planet will be rid of the coronavirus pandemic in less than two years, faster than it took for the 1918 Spanish flu. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus told reporters at the WHO's headquarters in Geneva that it should be possible to tame the novel coronavirus faster than the deadly 1918 pandemic. We hope uh, to finish uh, this pandemic before uh, uh, less than two years, uh, especially if we can pull our efforts together and with national unity, global solidarity, that's really key. WHO Emergencies Chief Michael Ryan told journalists the 1918 flu came in three waves and then later settled down into a less deadly seasonal infection. However, Ryan said the current coronavirus outbreak is not displaying a wave pattern similar to the 1918 flu. A new analysis suggests the number of lives lost to the coronavirus in the United States is significantly higher than the official toll. AP correspondent Ben Thomas reports. The analysis of government data by the Associated Press and the Marshall Project finds the number of deaths during the first seven months of the year was as many as 215,000 above what might have been expected in a more typical year. Public health authorities have long said some coronavirus deaths, especially early on, were mistakenly attributed to other causes, and the crisis may have led indirectly to the loss of many other lives by preventing or discouraging people with other serious ailments from seeking treatment. Ben Thomas, Washington. You can Doctors at a Siberian hospital where Russian opposition politician Alexei Navalny lies in a coma after a suspected poisoning have agreed to allow his family to transport him to a top German medical facility. Doctors at the intensive care unit in the Siberian city of Omsk had said Navalny was too sick to move, but late Friday the deputy chief doctor at the hospital said the politician would be allowed to leave for Germany. Russia's RIA Novosti news agency reported that Navalny is expected to be flown to Berlin on Saturday morning. Navalny became seriously ill on a flight and later lapsed into a coma Thursday. His family and supporters alleged that he was poisoned and that the Kremlin is behind it. There are fresh questions about how the U.S. Postal Service will ensure ballots mailed before November's election arrive on time after Postmaster General Louis DeJoy testified before a Senate panel Friday. AP's Sagar Megani reports. DeJoy says he did not know about recent operations changes until a public outcry over the removal of blue collection boxes and sorting machines. Of which I had no idea. But DeJoy says there are no plans to restore them or end a new rule limiting late delivery trips, which several postal workers say is a big reason for delays. Still, DeJoy tells lawmakers mailed-in ballots will arrive on time. Extremely highly confident. Democratic Senator Maggie has wants to know why. Do you have a detailed plan about how you're going to ensure the kind of delivery that Americans count on? DeJoy says it's still in the works, but ballots will be prioritized like in past years. Sagar Magani, Washington. An appeals court will not step in for now on President Donald Trump's fight to keep his tax records from a New York prosecutor. AP's Mike Gracia reports. President Donald Trump has been dealt another setback in his bid to keep his tax records away from Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus R. Vance Jr. The Second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals has denied Trump's request to immediately put a subpoena from Vance on hold while Trump's lawyers try to get the subpoena invalidated. However, the Second Circuit did say it will hold a hearing September 1st on a request by Trump's lawyers to delay the subpoena. On Thursday, Thursday, U.S. District Judge Victor Morero rejected arguments by Trump's lawyers that the subpoena was issued in bad faith, might be politically motivated, and amounts to harassment. I'm Mike Gracia. Venerable giant panda matriarch Mei Shang has given birth to a baby cub and immediately began cradling her offspring. Mei Shang has been spending most of her time in a small den indoors where she has created a nest out of branches. <laughs> 